Hi there, this is Marcus Riva and this is Riga calling. Uh, I'm competing in Supernova next Saturday on Supernova Final with the song this time and I hope fingers are crossed. Hello everyone, Latvia once again are using Supernova to select their artist for Lisbon and this I am here with Marcus Reaver who will be competing with the song this time. Uh, hello Marcus, how are you first and foremost? There, I'm absolutely fine. Brilliant. So let's go straight into your song. Um, this time, uh, what inspired the song? Uh, the song inspired was inspired by by my sort of experience and it's always based on my my experience like the music that I do and like previously the songs like Take Me Down, I Can and Dynamite was also like based on my my experience and so as you get understand this is like a breakup song and it speaks about like the situation in relationships when you're like sort of in enough is enough and you want to you want to make like a big point and finish finish those relationships and like step away from that because uh, you cannot fix that anymore and uh, this time we won't make it right so that's the situation that that I have experienced and I, I believe that a lot of people who, who love who, who've been in relationships they understand what I'm, I'm talking about. <laughs> I hope you do. <laughs> Brilliant. So, as you mentioned, you've entered Supernova quite a fair few times. You actually came second back in 2015. Um, so, is Eurovision something you really passionately want to do, or are you using it as a platform to get your music outside of Latvia? So, what? Why do you keep coming back to the format? I mean, Latvia is not not a United Kingdom or not Germany or like the big country with a big music industry. Uh, events and and opportunities. So of course, Supernova and Eurovision is is uh, such a big platform where you can showcase your artistry, your music, uh, and uh, I think it's uh, like a huge step for for an artist. And no matter if you're like from Latvia or from from United Kingdom or whatever, it's just like a, I think it's like a great. Expo thing like for for the musicians when they come together and and exchange like their artistry, their contacts, and like it's I think it's a brilliant way how to how to gather uh, like a lot of lot of lot of people and of course it's like the greatest TV show on TV as well because they always uh, always use like the like unique techniques or like how, how you can create a stage lightning and and it's like a, it's the greatest show and uh, if you're so passionate about your your profession and your your life and my life is like my music so I think it's a great great platform where you can where you can be and where you can succeed. And so this is one of my aims, like in my career. So that's why I'm like doing that every year. And uh, I, of course, there are like a lot of people saying like, "Oh, you should take a break," or like, uh, "Why are you participating?" And like, but I mean, you never know. You never know what kind of songs they're gonna be. What kind of uh, other contestants? What kind of jury and what 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 the like national people gonna gonna feel at, at that year because we are all related to to like economics politics and like the whole situation in the world so uh you just never know and if you if you never try then you you will never know so that's why i think uh, and uh, i think it somehow shows my my sort of uh, personality that I, I just don't give up. 
So, and I want to inspire a lot of people of, to, to not give up in, in their lives and uh, on their dreams because it's, it's always like, oh, you know, you, you don't succeed. Like, and I mean, I, I, I wouldn't say that I didn't succeed. Of course, there's like a one prize, like the, the winner takes it all. <laughs> but, uh, but, but still it's like, it's, I've been like on a second place. I've been like maybe not getting to the finals or in like to the semifinals, but it's still like a big experience. And, um, and I want to, I want to give people this example to, to, to not, not give up and work hard and succeed. And I hope I'm going to succeed. <laughs> And obviously Supernova went on for a bit of a overhaul this year and we got 60 of the songs back in October time, but we didn't know the artists, we only had the song titles. So as an artist, how was that for you, knowing people were judging your song but not knowing it was you? Or like, how, how was that as from the artist's point of view, just like having people around the world saying they liked or disliked your song without it being associated to your name, so to speak? I saw that I saw actually like on YouTube the songs were leaked like on YouTube as well after the Supernova first uh, tour and uh, I read some comments and people were like oh this yeah this is Mark Street <laughs> because they, they somehow recognized my voice uh, which which is of course nice but uh, yeah it was the thing that we didn't know when we submitted the songs and uh, actually I, I submitted like two songs one was this time, and the other one is "I'll Never Let You Go," which is uh, which is in a process to be released some someday soon as well. And I recorded the song like in Ukrainian. That was actually my first uh, single in Ukrainian. So because I'm working in Ukraine and Russian and Belarus as well, and I made the song in Russian as well. So it's like it's not a waste <laughs> as. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I somehow uh, decided to, to steal because I, I got like a positive feedback for that song as well and so it's a, it's, it's a bit different but, but uh, I think it was an interesting way how to, how to connect more and more and more people to, to, to listen to the songs of Supernova and so I think, I think it was kind of interesting way because like a lot of people a lot of non-Latvian people were listening to that. Okay, so Saturday just gone, your heat, it caused a bit of a um, buzz because obviously you hadn't qualified, but then obviously two days later it all came out about the slight issues with LTV yeah. and you now have qualified for the final. Um, how has that been for you? Because it's been a bit of an up and down journey, I can imagine. <laughs> it was, it was so crazy. I mean, uh, after the the semi-final, you know, I was, I was not sad and I want to clear the air like uh, after the last, last year when I was with Dynamite and when the show was over and the results were in, um, I was sort of like jumping off the stage and people were misunderstanding this, this thing and uh, I saw like on Twitter like some hate comments because oh Marcus Street is angry but but the thing was like, I saw that my fans are like standing there and crying, like really like it, they, they, their face was like in water. To not to stand there or like, like waiting for something like, because my fans are like my most important thing. And like this year I was, I was, uh, of course, you always can do much better, but I was I was kind of uh, happy how all the performance went and like the comments were good and so maybe like the voting was like a bit not that good as it could be, but but still it was uh, good as 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 you can see like two days after that, and so I was I was I was kind of like very peaceful and not not like crying at home or something <laughs> because uh, because I was I was I was happy like with my performance and uh, then I on the next day I had to go to to for a promo tour to to Moscow and I was performing this time there which was really nice and still I really loved the song 
and uh, which was kind of nice. And the next day, I had a shooting for uh, for uh, music TV there. And then I get my manager calling, and she's like, "Oh, we got great news! You you know, there's like uh, this some kind of error in uh, the voting system, so we're in the final." And I was like, "Oh yeah, it's happy." But I was kind of still like very very calm with 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 the situation like not getting in final and uh, i was still hoping for the for the wild card <laughs> so 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 yeah maybe i would be sad like on sunday on the next sunday like like this sunday if i wouldn't get like a wild card but uh, it's it's not the end of the world so so but it's like so i'm like super excited now for the for the final and I want to clear my performance, like to make it like perfect and sing, 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 sing it like much better, and like work on on the on those elements that that I can do much better. Okay. And so in your semi-final performance, you were stood alone on stage a lot, and you're in a suit, and there was black and white at the start of the performance as well for the cameras. Mm -hmm. Is any of that aspect going to change? Like, are people going to be joining you on stage for the final, or will you be keeping it pretty much the same from your semi-final performance? Uh, to be honest, I like this minimalistic uh, performance, and I I'm gonna stick uh, with with that. But I I'm gonna change like few details, but not bringing on a stage like uh, maybe some dancers or some some acrobatic tricks or something. Because I actually like like this uh, very minimalistic. Because sometimes you're just uh, too too tired of uh, like seeing a lot of lot of lot of action or like a lot of things on stage but uh, but it's it's like for the supernova stage of course if if i get like will get very lucky to represent my country uh, in portugal then of course we're gonna do a lot of a lot of changes and i'm i'm gonna reconstruct the whole performance but not thinking about that at the moment so this is for the final, just to to clear a lot of few elements uh, in my performance. Okay, cool. Um, just jumping off Supernova quickly. Um, whilst Supernova was starting out, it was also you were in TV work, um, hosting the first series of the X Factor over in uh, Latvia. Um, so, how was that for you to do some hosting and also be like help? Obviously, you've had your career in Latvia. But you're then watching people to hopefully getting their start in a music career. So how was that seeing it from the other side and hosting what is now a very popular franchise throughout the world in your home nation? It was actually like a really like a dream come true because uh, X Factor is one of my favorite TV shows that I'm like watching every year, like the Br Britain's X Factor. And so and I've been to like a lot of TV castings uh, for this TV host role. But somehow it's it just didn't work out like and but I've been working for radio stations uh, for a few years like in Latvia and I had like this experience to be on TV and like to 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 work with cameras and everything but uh, I was like super happy and super excited that they asked me to come to the casting and so and it went like really well and so I became like the the host of this show and. Uh, I mean, it's of course it's much easier to to stand uh, <laughs> to stand in, on a backstage and like just uh, just sort of chilling out and uh, not being stressed about like oh I'm gonna gonna go there and somebody gonna say something about me and still it's like it's like very nerve wracking and like even now when you have a lot of lot of background and like a lot of experience I'm still like. Where is stressed when 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 you have to go in shows like Supernova, and you get judged like like when like people are gonna do some 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 compliments or like bad comments or whatever, but the I think my experience was like uh, that's that's the thing that I can I can bring to to the X Factor because uh, I know how how hard it is to. To be so stressed and like to go on the stage and uh, then you get rejected because I've been rejected like a lot of times in my life and you get you get a lot of lot of uh, joy as well when you when you, you you've been sort of accepted 
And uh, I experienced that as well you know, on this big TV show in Russia where I was uh, participating like three years ago. And, and so I had this like good and bad experience so I can, I can relate to every contestant. And I think it's like a very, it's, it's like super nice, nice thing to do. Brilliant. And you said that you watched the UK X Factor. And obviously, um, Sara also, who is the Finnish representative this year, did very well back in 2016. So have you ever considered coming across the UK and auditioning yourself for the UK version? Well, she's, a, she's the best example. She's the best example. And I, I, I'm a fan of Sara. So she has such a great voice and very interesting personality. And, and I hope to meet her one day someday maybe this year <laughs> and uh, and uh, I've, I've been thinking about that but um, I think it should be like very spontaneous and like uh, if I'm considering to do that then it's 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 it should be like okay like this is a moment I'm gonna like write down my application and just send that and then because that that was that was the thing with uh, with uh, this uh, Russian Ukrainian TV show because I was I was like sitting in my room and like I just saw something like online and I was like oh I should try and like apply immediately so <sighs> life like you very very like unpredictable thing so it's just have to live and like just do something because you can just sit in your room and do nothing and then you can experience nothing so but you have to go for for for, for adventures Brilliant. and so for the final see there's not going to be seven or eight artists instead of six in the final um, now you're in the final um, do you feel like you can win and go for Latvia and Lisbon or are you just wait and see what happens on the night like are you feeling confident or how are you feeling leading up to the final now that you're there I think like if you're in the final then everyone has this chance to win because it's it's like like in sports like you you never know who who going to compete like better than you and you have to go for your best and then think about the results and that's what I'm going to do like like this week uh like for preparing for 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 for, for the night and like trying to do my best and I hope People are gonna feel that, and and uh, I hope people are gonna, of course, like vote because this is like very important thing to do, and I really want to just 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 do my best, and then the results are, I think they are already written somewhere in the stars. So in a way, you can do do only your best. And just to round this out, is there anything you'd like to say to anyone seeing this? Your international fans, your Latvian fans, what would you like to say to everyone who is supporting you and your song in Supernova this year? The thing about like Supernova and all the Eurovision journey is, uh, is the big, big sort of following from, from Europe as well. And I see a lot of, lot of people from, from all across the Europe who are like sending me a lot of a uh, lot of messages and tweets and comments and everything so i feel this uh, this background and i feel this uh, this power from 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 people who are supporting me and that's the other thing why i'm like uh, participating in supernova every year because sometimes it's like oh okay i shouldn't do that but but then you you, you see and you feel that there are so many so many great people and so many fans and supporters who want to see you so that's like my biggest motivation and I I hope I hope they're gonna be with me on 24th of uh, February next Saturday for the big final and uh, I hope they're gonna vote and I hope they're gonna listen on Spotify <laughs> and, <laughs> and uh, see Marcus the best <laughs> Brilliant. Well, thank you very much, Marcus. That everyone is Marcus so. Reaver, one of the finest in Latvia's Supernova selection, and we'll find out on the 24th of February if he is going to Lisbon. Best of luck, Marcus. Hope it goes well for you, yeah. and we shall see you next Saturday if you do make it to Lisbon or not. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.